Hi there. My name is Marcus Cox, and this presentation is about something I'm very excited about, and it's called Charities in Tandem, and we're doing a global fundraiser with a very special product uh, called the Purity Water Bottle. Here's a little overview on uh, how it benefits nonprofits and charities. It creates a long, this plan will create a long term residual income for your nonprofit. Uh, participants feel good about helping you and uh, helping you uh, build out this uh, plan. It's good public relations for your nonprofit because now you're contributing to the very important green movement. Uh, and it's good public relations as you help people get one of the most important things on earth, and that's pure drinking water. That's huge. These days, there's a lot less drinking water than there ever has been in history. I'm going to start with a little case study on fundraising. Uh, a lot of people have a stigma about network marketing. Network marketing, uh, the network marketing revenue engine is uh, very efficient, uh, really provides a lot of leverage. And what I'm going to do here is go through a uh, case study I did. I did some fundraising back in the 90s with uh, a company, and one of our clients was Special Olympics. And they became an independent distributor for that company and then four people volunteered to begin the project in Oklahoma. We educated and trained those four people on the product and how the pay structure worked and then we actually had a spokesperson come in to kick off the program on the first uh, meeting and uh, we had got an endorsement letter from one of the directors at Special Olympics. By 1996 those four people became tens of thousands of independent representatives and uh, even more customers the residual revenue from the program funded several staff positions and residual revenue from the program uh, funded a lot of special projects to help thousands of kids with special handicaps. It's a really good thing. This is a little uh, letter of recommendation that was given to me by uh, one of the directors at, at Oklahoma and it says, uh, it was a pleasure talking with you concerning your work. I'm sure a person with your energy and drive could do well. I wholeheartedly endorse the idea of using this direct marketing program as a fundraising tool for nonprofits. And then it talks about uh, the uh, celebrity endorsement by the coach and all that. Um, down here, uh, you see the program began in 1993 and in, in the 95, and then by they had funded uh, one staff position that year, and by 1996 they were able to fund four staff positions. Okay. And you'll see in here, I've had this vision a long time. You'll see here, he mentions about uh, charities in tandem, right, right down here. He thought that was brilliant. <laughs> a little plug there. This is a copy of <clears throat> one of their paychecks. Okay, this is uh, how just a good example to show how it works. Uh, they were, this is residual revenue coming to uh, Special Olympics, and this this particular one they got 7580. You can see here that some some months were better than others. Uh, and there's the four people that we kicked off the program with, and uh, from those four people they got a few customers each. This 49 customers up here is uh, what the Special Olympics branch actually did. People signed up uh, directly under them. Then the four people brought in 107 customers and you can see this at that time we were this was based on a, like a $20 phone bill uh, so that wasn't really big and they only pay a half a percent down here so the the numbers aren't very large but just to, just to show how this works okay. So from those four people they got 107 and then the they brought in uh, about 10 each, and they're, now they've gathered 503 p uh, customers with residual phone bills of uh, almost 5,000 there. And then uh, from there, it's just a little less of an average here, about three, three uh, people each, 124, and you're looking at 1,300 customers now. And then uh, down here, 331. So that's still well, that's about three each. And then uh, they all get some customers, and there's a uh, monthly usage from the phone bills. And that's the commission paid out in this channel here. And like I said, it's not very big in this particular plan. Uh, and then down here now it's getting more like two people, average of two. So 331 becomes 772. Now you're looking at almost 7,000 customers are getting paid on. And the phone bills, those little tiny phone bills, add up to 66,000 a month. Still, they're only paying a half a percent on this particular plan. Our plan pays 15% all the way down. And then uh, those about two people each. Or 1,565 representatives, and now they got 13,000 customers each. And then down here, uh, so you get a little, this this old plan here, you get paid 5% on the seventh level. So 
it's a little it's this is the most significant section they get sixty sixty six hundred and fifty fifty dollars on that level alone and that was on twenty seven hundred and forty two people with twenty two thousand customers and look the phone bills now add up to uh, little almost a quarter of a million dollars so that's pretty good and when that every month these checks come in you can see right here so seventy five hundred eighty dollars comes in every month uh, from those phone bills unfortunately in that particular case study uh, I was with that company eight years and we had a lot of charities uh, in, in the network um, and Special Olympics was, was just one of them. We had uh, Boy Scouts of America, Girls and Boys Club, we had a lot of churches. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful uh, fundraising tool, network marketing. One of the problems with, with that particular model was it was service-based and products are competed on price. And uh, it, it'll amaze you how people are so attached to their phone companies that they won't switch their phone service. It's like you're taking their firstborn. <laughs> anyway, it was very competitive. And uh, they and also they'd call your customers up uh, with win back calls and they'd uh, switch switch them back. And also at near the end of that the demise of that particular company, the new management made some bad decisions and the revenues went down. And uh, the last blow was they went retail. And all of us, there was over a million distributors in that company, and we were all terminated, <laughs> including all revenue uh, from our fundraising operations. It's not wasn't fun. Our fundraising is different. Okay, unlike our case study, our products are unique. They don't rely on pricing alone. Uh, the purity water filtration bottle uses patented technology our customers do not have, and the market scope. That case study with a company I just showed you was only in three countries. Uh, the company I'm with now is in nine already, and with the purity water uh, filtration bottle, we can literally go into any country in the world, so your revenues can be worldwide. Market timing, according to Wall Street analysts, uh, water is now the number one industry uh, to be in. It's bigger than the oil boom. Uh, we have, uh, we also have leading edge nutritional products, and uh, the nutritional industry is also a trillion dollar industry. It's uh, all the baby boomers are coming of age. I'm one of them, and uh, our health is uh, not what it used to be. And you, the supplementation industry is huge. We also have a revolutionary weight loss product, which is another big industry, and. Uh, I can testify for that. I've lost 35 pounds in a couple of months on this. They're homeopathic weight loss drops. And my wife has lost 22 pounds. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. Uh, chest pains are gone. Uh, swelling in my legs is gone. Uh, that's a really wonderful thing. That's a great product, the uh, homeopathic weight loss drops. So your, your nonprofit can benefit from all these industries and in multiple countries. And Purity, as I said, worldwide. And so just to help help you uh, appreciate the fact uh, that our company is different. Arx has a this is uh, has a distributor bill of rights, and that states we can never go retail. So your fundraising efforts are protected forever. That is important. I'll, I've learned my lesson. I've been with a couple of companies, and they change the compensation plan, and your check your check gets uh, destroyed. Uh, I had a check go from uh, I lost 90 percent. I mean, I had to go back and get a job. <laughs> So why is our fundraising opportunity is different? Unlike our case study that I showed you paid on seven levels and it was just like half a percent to most of the little, most of the middle of that plan down to the seventh level they paid five. Ours pays fifteen percent all the way down on all like in all seven levels that'd be fifteen uh, percent. And the numbers are significantly higher. You'll get paid a lot better. Your nonprofit gets up to a fifty percent check match on distributors downline. So what that means is um, People in the organization or in the network, when they're making money with this plan, um, you get a 50, up to 50% uh, match on their paychecks, and that adds up too. It's it's pretty pretty significant. Actually, it's very significant. <laughs> Your nonprofit receives re revenues from a robust product line, and these, these uh, nutritional products I spoke about, they're pharmaceutical grade, and they're um, really uh, leading edge. I mean, I've never felt as as good as I do now and I'm uh, almost 60 years old and I'm running up hills and things and I lost all that weight too so that's that's a really good thing and your nonprofit receives residuals from distributors in nine countries versus C uh, three and you can receive residuals from the purity orders uh, worldwide this is like a recap your nonprofit can receive substantial results residuals from bulk purity orders worldwide the bulk purity uh, orders are, are huge. Uh, you'll see on the website on the 
ten, uh, Charities in Tandem site. There's a really good story, and also I recorded a call about a philanthropic uh, financier, uh, very wealthy, and he's going to. He was talking about buying two million bottles and giving them away. Uh, very, very wonderful thing. Okay, pros and cons. Pros: uh, It's inexpensive. No big donation drives. Those are those are uh, hard to put together. Very. Uh, labor intensive and you need, you need a lot of people uh, getting involved for those. Ongoing residuals for your nonprofit and your part participants, so the people that help uh, get this drive started, they also benefit very well. Like those four people in my case study there, they did quite well from that plan. The network marketing company does all the inventory management, and that's huge. It's um, a lot of work. <laughs> Uh, all the shipping and handling is done for you, the accounting and administration, and uh, your nonprofit gets a monthly check, and you can have that directly deposited in your account. The cons: uh, longevity. Okay, a network marketing company must be well funded and able to deliver products efficiently. Well, the company that we're we're with here on this plan is RX. Uh, the management team comes from a 500 million a year uh, network marketing company, very well run. They were in many countries. Uh, I know the CEO personally, Dr. Cooper is just a fabulous person and uh, he really knows what he's doing. He has a PhD in operations and also in statistics and it's very important to know what you're doing in this in this in, in the business climate that's out there today. Uh, the network marketing company needs sound management team and good reputation and that they have. They have uh, for, for, Dr. Cooper worked 14 years with this previous company and has a very good reputation out there must have a robust compensation plan that rewards your nonprofit and plan participants. There's a lot of network marketing companies out there uh, and as you can see from that, that case study I did, I mean they're only paying half a percent on all those customers. That's that's not very robust. You should pay, uh, I mean we, we pay 15 percent. Most most companies pay about 10 percent on that particular uh, payout plan. The importance of timing and positioning, now that's big, okay, so I mean you can come out with a product and, and really nobody cares, you know, so uh, it would definitely slow down your, our fundraising efforts if nobody cared about our product. So the timing, so Paul Zane Pilsner, he was uh, an advisor to the uh, White House, stated that health and wellness is the next trillion dollar industry and since in 2000, uh, the census, 2009 said there's 78 million baby boomers, that's uh, my generation, and supplement sales are growing double digit yearly. And water resources and filtration, as I said, is the number one industry to be involved in. Positioning, a very ground floor. Our company has just completed its first year, which is kind of a milestone in this business. Most companies don't make it through the first year. We're already <clears throat> doing over a million a week in business, and we're very solid. And uh, our products get delivered on time, and, and we're coming out with new innovative products uh, pretty regularly now. So you're not just, not just talk, uh, tying your residual revenue into one, one product. And like I said, the <coughs> filtration product goes well, uh, worldwide and the management team has a 14-year track record. How to start your fundraising product project with us? It's really simple. Just get with one of our team members, become an independent distributor for $29.95. Then we'll, we'll get together with you and set up that initial meeting like, we did, like I did before. Uh, help find four people in your organization or your support base who are willing to participate and motivated to help build this out. We have a project plan that we can uh, we'll, we'll, we'll submit to your nonprofit and we'll help you get started. And we provide education and training on the project as it grows. And we have we do webinars and uh, conference calls uh, worldwide. And we'll provide a proven plan to help uh, build your residual revenue and donation stream. So on that note, I hope uh, this makes sense to you, and I would really like to help your nonprofit uh, benefit from this plan and uh, look forward to helping a lot of people worldwide with this. I'm very exciting, to, very exciting to do this.